to this video on my Clio 172 cup. I wanted to do a video today because I did a video about three years ago that actually was proved to be quite popular called my Clio 172 Turbo and it gained quite a lot of views because I feel at the time there wasn't a lot of content on YouTube that actually featured low boost Clio 172s or any high any boosted Clios for that matter. I was never really that happy with the video and um, there are a few things that I didn't like about it that I thought I could have done better in terms of reviewing the car or doing the car justice so I've put together this video and hopefully it proves just as popular. So I think the Clio 172 Cup was sold in 2003 I believe and I think at the time it sold for around £12,000 and it was a lightweight stripped down version of the already popular Clio 172. With that came no ABS, no traction control, no AC, basic seats, uh, thinner glass and obviously the distinct Cup Torinis. And I think because of that, because the Cup was a stripped down version of an already popular car, it's more driver focused and people seem to prefer the Cup now. There's more of a following or a yearning to own a Cup. So prices for these are actually starting to go up. So whereas the car cost 12,000 or around 12,000 pound new, some people are now paying north of 10,000 pound for a car that's done around 50,000 miles, which is low mileage, full service history but people are willing to pay quite a bit of money, which indicates that the car value might be heading towards where the 205 GTI did, or is now. Um, so yeah, it's commanding quite a high price. This car has done 125,000 miles, so it will never ever be worth that much. However, with the added low boost kit that it's got, it'd probably be around the five to 6,000 pound mark in the condition that it's in. So the car is running a 230 horsepower conversion out of the box from a company called Engine Dynamics. It's been covered around 20,000 miles since and in that time, other than obviously a few bolt-on things that have gone wrong with the car since, probably due to mileage and age more than anything, and it's French, it's needed a uprated clutch. So I've now got a Helix organic clutch in it, which is a bit sharp and not that friendly to use in traffic. However, what it does do is manage the power in a way that makes this car drivable daily. I didn't go for anything too extreme, like a, a paddle clutch, because I've heard they're quite harsh. And it seems to cope quite reasonably with that 230 BHP, 230 pound feet at all. Other modifications on the car include the Brembo four pot brakes from the Clio 197 or Megane 225 and they're a great addition to the car. They don't necessarily improve the stopping power but what they do do is give you more pedal feel and I feel that's quite important to know where you are when you're braking. So the single uh, or the dual piston calipers that come as standard are still perfectly fine and I dare say that they would have been capable enough or they are capable enough to handle the extra power that the low boost conversion adds but I just prefer A, the look of them, and B, the feel of them with the braided lines. Other modifications to this car are quite standard, so it's got grams lowering springs, which give it a OEM look, but drops to the ride height slightly, and then standard cup shocks. Now, the beauty of this car is that, being Renault and being a Clio, you can pick up parts for next to nothing. So what I did is I went on Renault Pass Direct and got myself a brand new set of cup shocks all around, front and rear, for £150. And of course, because they're so simple to work on, I fitted them myself. Other modifications include a Scenic shifter, taken from a uh, Renault Scenic and modified slightly to reduce the throw, which is quite a nice addition to the car. And it's a shorter reach, it's taller, so you can it's less distance from the wheel to the, uh, the gear shifter. Got the KTEC recessed exhaust on it, which is free of flowing straight through, which helps the car breathe and uh, was recommended actually by Engine Dynamics, the company that mapped and turboed the car, for a freer flowing exhaust so that they could get more power out of it. Say, in terms of power, the car is at the limit where you'd probably need a, a differential if you went any more. 230 horsepower is probably also the limit of where the stock engine's internals can cope. Anything above that and you're basically playing a lottery as, as and when something will fail, whether it's the bottom end or a piston or... It's kind of a gamble that I'm not willing to take because I believe that the car is fun enough to drive at 230 horsepower. With the 
turbo you also get the added addition that you can have the I'm hoping you can hear that but the, the the flutter never really gets boring because you can always make it do that in terms of overall look of the car like I, I personally wanted to keep the car as standard looking as possible with the addition of obviously the Brembo's the slightly lowered ride height the spaces as well that are on it but other than that it, it looks pretty much OEM and that's kind of how I like my cars but that's just my personal preference some people go all out and add massive wings to the back of them huge front splitters bucket seats stripped out of the rear that's cool and I can appreciate that but that's just not me so maybe I'm a bit boring but who knows anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video my next plan is obviously to keep this car as an ongoing series with me doing some restoration to the underside which you can probably see needs a little bit of work but also I've got some friends that have got some quite cool cars that I'm planning on doing videos like this as well so just little talks about the car driving it talking about what's been done to it how it handles but if there's anything in particular that that you want to see in terms of about this car or about another car or any tips you can give me to make these videos more engaging or more informative for yourselves then please feel free to leave a comment and let me know because this is like my first video and probably a little rough around the edges but yeah bear with me and I promise I'll get better thanks for watching